Call the honourable member for uh, Fremantle. Thank you, Deputy Speaker. Last week, a letter endorsed by more than 110 federal members and senators from across the political spectrum was sent to the Indonesian government and parliament requesting that the death sentences of Myoran Sukumaran and Andrew Chan be urgently reconsidered and commuted. I thank those colleagues who indicated their endorsement of the letter and remain hopeful that we may see a reversal of the Indonesian decision to execute these young men. As one of the legal team said in an interview last week, where there's life, there's hope. My message to the Indonesian government is as follows. One, these men are rehabilitated and reformed, and they can be a vital part of your campaign to educate young people on the dangers of drugs. Their execution will serve no useful purpose. Two, drug offences are serious crimes, and so are crimes against humanity, war crimes and genocide, yet these do not attract the death penalty in international tribunals. More than two-thirds of the world's countries have abolished the death penalty. Three, your own constitutional court has recommended that the death penalty be amended to a term of imprisonment if a prisoner shows good behaviour for 10 years. Myran and Andrew have done just that. Four, your country fights for mercy for your own citizens sentenced to the death penalty in other countries. It is in your nation's interest to consider mercy for people on death row in Indonesia. Finally, I say to Myran and Andrew, your families and your country are proud of you, and we are fighting for the wonderful human beings that you have become and the things you are still to do. Hold your heads high. We send our love and courage. Call the honourable member for